Fundación Cana brings you the following article. Anti-inflammatory and anti-nociceptive properties of beta-mercine by Viola Brugnatelli, neuroscientist, University of Padova, Italy. Terpenes are a diverse class of oils and organic compounds that are produced in many plants as secondary metabolites mainly for defense purposes but also for favoring pollination. In the cannabis plant, a large number of terpenes, 120, have been identified. They identify the aroma of each cannabis strain, and it has been hypothesized that terpene ratio inherently changes the properties of the cannabis plant. Recent data suggests that some of the terpenes found within the cannabis plant possess anti-inflammatory and analgesic activity, which is additional to the effects of classical phytocannabinoids and may generate synergistic interactions. In this short review, we will examine the latest scientific evidence supporting the use of myrcene, a common cannabis terpene for pain and inflammatory conditions. What is beta myrcene? Beta myrcene is an acyclic monoterpene commonly found in nature, along with other terpenes, in the essential oil of lemongrass, Symbapagon citratus, hop, Humulus lupus. Verbena, Verbena officinalis, Mango, Mangifera indica, Thyme, Timus vulgaris, Bay, Laurus nobilis, and Cannabis sativa. Myrcene's volatile nature makes it somehow difficult to utilize on its own, and it is commonly used as an intermediate by the fragrance industry for the production of derivative terpenes. It has been widely tested for safety, investigating genotoxicity of the monoterpene and screamed for salmonella microsome assay, demonstrating that it is not a mutagenic compound. Myrcene and analgesia beta myrcene has been extensively used throughout history by folk medicine as a painkiller. Most commonly, traditional medicine has been using essential oils which contain high percentages of myrcene along with an array of other terpenes. Myrcene's anti-nociceptive effects as a single molecule have been demonstrated by Rao and colleagues already in 1990. Their study showed that intraperitoneal injections of 10 to 20 mg per kilogram and subcutaneous injections of 20 to 40 mg per kilogram of myrcene were sufficient to significantly inhibit pain perception in mice, both in the acetic acid writhing test, peripheral analgesia, as well as in the hot plate test typically used to investigate central nervous system, CNS, modulation. They reported that 1 mg per kilogram of naloxone, opioid receptors inverse agonist used for reversing opiate overdose, and 2 mg per kilo of bean, adrenergic receptor antagonist used for sedation, antagonized the beneficial effects of myrcene. The group henceforth suggested that the analgesic effects of myrcene are probably mediated by alpha-2 adrenoceptor-stimulated release of endogenous opioids. However, this final conclusion has been subject to controversy with other studies reporting different results. Another group tested the neurobehavioral effects of 1 gram per kilogram of beta myrcene on rats and mice, drawing the conclusion that benzodiazepine-like effects have to be excluded and that a direct activity at the central nervous system is unlikely. Evaluation of exploratory, emotional, and anxiolytic activity in rodents with tests such as elevated plus maze, conditioned avoidance, open space, etc., showed that beta myrcene does not provoke any mind-altering behavior. Thus, the hypothesis of Rao et al. of Mersin's activation of endogenous opioids via alpha-2 adrenoceptor, which would hence modify locomotor activity and anxiety states, but one may speculate that Mersin's analgesic actions are mediated via release of opioid peptides, endocannabinoids, and anti-inflammatory cytokines, acting upon opioid receptors present on primary afferent neurons to block pain transmission. Such local opioid-mediated effect is limited to the periphery and thus does not have the adverse systemic effects of centrally mediated opioid and benzodiazepines analgesia. Moreover, as we will discuss next, beta myrcene shows significant anti-inflammatory effects via inhibition of cyclooxygenase COX, pathways, which is observed by the diminished pain over time. This hypothesis seems to find correspondence with the literature on this compound. 
In 2008, the essential oil obtained by the leaves of Brazilian Aramanthus erysopapus has been tested for its antinociceptive effects. The oil is composed by a large number of terpenes, including a high percentage of monoterpenes, 39.12%, with an anti-inflammatory and antinociceptive activity, amongst which betamercine, 10.03%, was prevalent. The investigators demonstrated that analgesia acted both on the first phase pain, acute CNS-mediated, as well as on the second phase, inflammatory. Pain reactions in mice were induced via chemical stimulation with formalin injection in the paw, after which the group tested different doses of essential oil, showing that 400 mg per kilo inhibited licking at the paw, which is a marker for decreased pain perception. In order to further investigate the nature of these results, the group of Sosa and colleagues tested the effects of E. erysopapus oil on the hot plate, 55 plus or minus 1 degree centigrade, doses of 200 mg per kilo and 400 mg per kilo of the essential oil induced significant antinociceptive effects only when the drug was administered 30, 60, and 90 minutes before hot plate test, with maximum effects reached with pretreatment 60 minutes before the hot plate challenge. The hot plate latency demonstrated centrally mediated effects. However, when a pretreatment of 1 mg per kilo of naloxone, subcutaneous, was administered, it resulted in inhibition of morphine, 5 mg per kilo, induced analgesia, but it failed to prevent the antinociceptive effects induced by the essential oil. These results in apparent discordance with the above-mentioned study of Rao et al. may find an explanation with the difference between myrcene as a single molecule and myrcene within a phytocomplex, which includes several other terpenes, such as the E. erysopapus oil, which also express beta-pinene and beta-caryophylline and 30 more compounds. It is probable that beta-myrcene analgesic effects act both centrally and peripherally, but that synergistic interactions with other terpenes may prevent opioid-mediated activity or boost endocannabinoid-derived central actions. Furthermore, myrcene analgesic and anti-inflammatory actions can be attributed to reduction of peripheral nociception by inhibition of prostaglandin release. E. erysopapus oil was also shown to inhibit abdominal writhing induced by acetic acid in mice. This mechanism is controlled by the COX pathway and prostaglandin synthesis, which were both inhibited by the oil. This speculation fits accordingly with another study which examines the anti-inflammatory effect of oral administration of lemongrass tea as well as of essential oil from lemongrass leaves on rats treated with subplantar injections of carrageenan, an irritant, and postglandin E2, PGE2. Myrcene was the main analgesic compound identified and its peripheral effects were indeed capable of inhibiting hyperalgesia induced by PGE2 in the rat paw test as well as contortions provoked by eloprost in mice. However, repeated administration of the essential oil failed to cause tolerance, which is a key feature of the central analgesic effects of morphine. The study concluded that lemongrass used as a painkiller by folk medicine in Brazil acted via peripheral analgesia, although some sedative effects of beta myrcene have been recognized both by a study on sleep aid preparations from hop as well as by myrcene enhanced barbituric effects. Additionally to its unique analgesic property, myrcene contained within the cannabis plant may potentiate the innate antinociceptive properties of cannabinoids. It appears that the monoterpene lowers resistance across the blood-brain barrier, improving permeability, so that beta myrcene itself and many other chemicals, including the analgesic THC, may cross the barrier more effectively. In fact, beta myrcene has been successfully used as a permeation agent in a transdermal patch, which delivers cannabinoids into the bloodstream. Moreover, terpenes were suggested to modulate the affinity of THC for the CB1 receptor, which contributes to the improved analgesic effects of whole plant cannabis preparations over single molecules. Cannabinoid receptors CB1 are also widely expressed in the periaqueductal gray matter, PAG, and in the substantia gelatinosa of the spinal cord, both key sites for modulating nociceptive input from primary afferent neurons. Myrcene and Inflammation The anti-inflammatory effects of myrcene have been evaluated in a number of studies.
Beta-mercine is the main monoterpene of the essential oil from a Mexican plant of the Asteraceae species, Porophyllum ruderale. This essential oil was administered orally to mice suffering from pleurisy, inflammation of the lungs lining, pleura, induced by injection of zymosan and lipopolysaccharide, LPS. The investigators reported that mercine could inhibit the LPS-induced inflammation, including cell migration, which is a key feature of pleurisy and generally of inflammatory response. Moreover, beta-mercine was found to have immunoregulatory activity inhibiting the production of nitrogen oxide, NO, as well as cytokines interferon gamma, IFN gamma, and interleukin-4, IL-4, which is normally overproduced during lung inflammation. These results were matched accordingly by another group which examined the effects of mercine on acute inflammation in mice utilizing 200 and 400 mg per kilo of essential oil E. erysipapus on a carrageenan-induced pleurisy. They verified that indeed the monoterpene inhibited mobilization of cells, particularly of leukocytes, as well as significantly decreasing exudate volume. Further evidence of the anti-inflammatory actions of mercine were reported by the same group which administered 200 and 400 mg per kilo of essential oil E. erythopapus in mice previously injected with carrageen and irritant subplantarly. Paw edema is typically induced by an overproduction of histamine, serotonin, bradkinin, and a number of prostaglandins. By inhibiting prostaglandins, beta-mercine was capable of reducing the edema by 15.18%. A Korean essential oil from the flowers of Magnolia Siboldi provided additional evidence of the anti-inflammatory effects of the hydrocarbon mercine. This oil contains 12.72% mercine, along with the other 60 terpenes, and was capable of totally inhibiting NO and PGE2 production induced by LPS in immune cells, macrophages. Matching these results was the investigation carried out on the essential oil Disticocillinum tenuifolium, which is commonly used in Spain for treating skin infections and dermatitis. Beta-mercine is the main compound present in the oil, varying plant to plant from 47.7% to 84.6%. This oil was shown to significantly inhibit NO production in macrophages without affecting cell viability, that is, at non-cytotoxic doses. Conclusions Beta-mercine is a natural compound with a stellar safety profile which could significantly improve immune functions as well as decrease pain sensation in patients suffering from inflammatory as well as chronic pain. Given the known anti-inflammatory and anti-nociceptive effects of cannabis, it is important to discern the qualities that can provide the correct terpene synergy to manage different disorders such as osteoarthritis, neuropathic pain, or dermatitis. Certain cannabis strains contain higher levels of mercine than others, usually those with more sedative effects, which by the recreational world have been called indica plants. Although the functioning mechanisms of mercine are not fully understood yet, its promising role in the treatment of inflammation and pain is evident. Better understanding of mercine interactions within the cannabis plant and its clinical effect in humans may contribute to the development of specific cannabis genetics, which at the very least could target inflammatory disorders. This article was brought to you by Fundación Cana.